What is going on guys, it's Modded Warfare here. Welcome back to another PS4 overview, taking a look at a new beta build for Gold Hen. This is version 2.4 beta 14, uh, which previously we were on beta 13, and this beta does add quite a few new features into Gold Hen. Now, a lot of this stuff initially is stuff that happens in the background. It's more back-end level stuff. Like for example, we have an improved plugins loader, which may hopefully fix the issues that people have been running into where the plugins are not working and they have to delete their whole gold hen folder in order to in order to refresh everything and reinstall them again so hopefully this will fingers crossed fix that issue although it's not confirmed at the moment from when i'm recording this but anyway we have a more stable plugins loader anyway it has been improved we also have improvements to the ftp thanks to hippie 68 uh, again not entirely sure probably just more stability for the ftp server we also have improved MC4 support, which is a type of cheat uh, format for the Gold Hand Cheats menu. So that's apparently been improved as well. And now we come to the stuff that we actually can notice up front, and that is the added cheat description support. So we now have support for cheat descriptions, which basically means in all of the different cheat formats, maybe not all of them, but some of them have a description tag where the cheat developers can add additional information into those tags. Uh, which is kind of handy because that's not currently supported in the previous versions of Gold Hen. So a lot of the cheat developers were taking that explanation heavy uh, information and adding it to the cheat title, which would just look like a complete mess in the Gold Hen cheats menu. As you can see right here, this is a perfect example of it. This cheat is heavy on additional information and it's just all been added into the cheat title. So you have to wait for the text to start to scroll along because there's so much text in there to be able to read it all and understand exactly, you know, how this cheat is meant to be used in what context. So now in this new beta, all of that extra information can now be added to the description tag of the cheat instead. And when I did this to this particular cheat, you can see on the new beta build that we now have it showing up like this, which is much cleaner where we have the title and then all that extra explanation has been added into the description underneath. And it's just a lot cleaner, a much cleaner look. So hopefully the cheat developers can do that with their own cheats and move a lot of this extra stuff into the description to make it look a lot neater in the gold hand cheats menu. So we have that added there as well in this new version. So there's more things to get into, but before that, if you want to be able to run this new beta build, then head on to the internet browser, go to kmeps4.site, and then it should be available here. Now, right now it's not available for me, but by the time you're watching this, this beta version should be updated to version 14. So 2.4 beta 14, you'll be able to load that here in order to get it working. If it's still not available in this host, by the time this video goes out, you can of course just download the bin file for this latest version of Gold Hen from Sistro's Ko-Fi page, which I'll leave in the description. And then you can inject it with the bin loader with uh, Netcat on your PC and get it loaded that way instead. So a couple of ways there that you can get this new payload loaded. So if we head back here, a couple of other things that have been added. We now have background package installation support. So if we head into the debug settings, typically when you go to install a package file, of course you go to install it and then you just get stuck in this screen with a progress bar where you can't really back out until it's actually finished installing the package file, which isn't the best since, you know, when you download updates and stuff, they just download in the background and you can still use your PS4 which is why a lot of people use other homebrew apps to install packages like the PS4 Explorer because they can still do stuff because when you install package files with PS4 Explorer and other uh, homebrew apps, they typically get added to the download section so that you can still use the PS4 and do other things while the package file is, is installing in the background. So that's what's now available here in the Gold Hen package installer as well. So we now have this option here to enable background installation. So if you enable that and then go to the package installer and select something to install, like Elden Ring, for example, here, we select that option. You can see instead of going to that normal progress bar page where we have to wait for the package file to install, instead it just gets added to downloads. So we can just head up to our notifications, our downloads, and we can see it's installing here in the background. So we can still use uh, the PS4 normally while that's installing and we even have it showing up here as well the progress bar for Elden Ring showing you how long it's going to take there so you now have the option when using the package installer to install the package files in the background so you can still use uh, your PS4 in the meantime and another thing you may have also noticed so we now have this option called show package info so if you enable this and go to the package installer you can see underneath the actual title of the package file we have 
First of all, the title that is embedded in the package file now shows up. So Elden Ring TM with the CUSA there. And then here we have the giant bonus map and we have Dying Light 2 Stay Human. So that shows up. Also shows what game version they're on as well. So version 1.00, 1.00, 1.01. And then it also shows in brackets the type of package file that it is. So at the top here, we have in brackets AC, which stands for uh, additional content, I believe, which would be a DLC pack, which this is. And then we also have GD, which stands for game disc. So this means it's a full app, as you can see there with Elden Ring. And then we also have this, which is a dev menu, but it's technically a game update, a modded game update. So it shows up as GP for game patch, showing that it is a patch instead of a full app or any additional content. So it gives you that additional information there for your package files as well. And this can also still be used with the um, show package path as well, which will just show up underneath. So you can have all that information showing up there for your package files, which is pretty cool. So those are all the kind of changes that have been added there into the new package installer. And as you can see, Elden Ring is almost installed. So finally, the last thing that's been added in this new version, the last significant thing anyway, is that we have fixed Orbis Toolbox support. So there is a payload called the Orbis Toolbox. If we head into the internet browser, we go on to it right here. So compatibility has been improved with this Orbis Toolbox payload by OSM. Now, normally on previous versions of Gold Hen, if you ran the Orbis Toolbox, which we're running it right now, if we go into the settings, it adds this new option into the settings called Orbis Toolbox. And normally, if you went into the Orbis Toolbox settings and enabled things like the debug overlay, or you tried to go into the game overlay and you enabled any of these options with Gold Hen running at the same time, it would cause a crash. And that's because they would conflict with each other because it was basically OSM who's behind the release of Orbis Toolbox. It was basically thanks to him that he kind of discovered how to actually add these additional menus into the PS4 menus like, like this. And he basically gave that code, I believe, to Sistro. And that's how we have the Gold Hen menu integrated into the PS4 uh, home screen as well. So because of that, they can conflict with each other when they're both running at the same time. So that was unfortunate. But as you can see, compatibility has been improved because with this new beta build, I do have the debug overlay running here. And I also have the game overlay all enabled and we haven't crashed. And if I try and run a game, let's run Elden Ring that we just installed. You can see all the information there showing up in the top left hand corner from the Orbis toolbox. But we also have the FPS counter for Gold Hen also running in the bottom left hand corner. So that's Gold Hen's overlay also running alongside Orbis toolbox's overlay in game as well. So as you can see, compatibility between the Orbis toolbox and Gold Hen's menus have indeed been improved. Now it's not perfect right now. I think there's still a couple of options that you can enable in Orbis Toolbox that can still cause problems with Gold Hen running at the same time, but hopefully that will be ironed out soon. So those are the main changes that have been made there. Hope you guys enjoyed this video or found the information useful. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe and I'll hopefully see you guys in the next one.